happens when you run with a mask on. Second run in the Arahi 6. Arahi 6. So, first impressions of the Arahi 6. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Comfy, light cushion. So start on the bottom, we have zonal placed rubber. So like rubber in high abrasion areas, not the entirety of midsole. Very classic Hoka thing to do. Definitely this is some burly rubber. Like they stick out these pieces. They've got some texture and almost like tread to them. You can see that J frame technology. Okay, that J shape, right? So we have a slightly firmer, livelier foam here, slightly softer foam over here, and you can see that very clearly uh, meant to support, protect from pronation, you know, as the foot curves in on the footstep on the toe off. That's the tech. That's the whole reason for buying the shoe. Support. Support shoe. And to be honest, I don't really feel it. Just feels soft and cushy. 24 millimeter in the forefoot. 29 in the heel. If you want ground feel, if you like ground feel, stay away from this shoe. Up to the upper, uh, they say they've redesigned the upper, made it uh, lighter. I did notice that on my left foot, my left foot is a little smaller, always have to tie the laces a little tighter. I did notice some fabric scrunching up here, which just sort of looked bad, but didn't affect it. Not a really form fitting Moving up to the tongue. Look at that tongue. The tongue is like one of my favorite parts of the shoe. Look at that big, thick tongue, like a pillow and not like a little couch throw pillow or something like a big fancy hotel sleeping bed pillow. Gusseted, which I appreciate, stays put always in the middle. And I love that. I love a more traditional tongue, especially on this kind of easy day, long day shoe. You want to have that comfort and it's thick enough that you can really lock down those laces. Don't feel anything on the top of the foot. Heel. Medium firmness, definitely some plastic in there. This is a little bit of high vis on the back, that's good. And then it has this elf ear. I don't notice anything about the elf ear, doesn't really touch my Achilles, don't notice it. Just a trendy fad, isn't it, right? All shoes, all shoe brands seem to be doing this elf ear on the back. And then the laces, nothing right home about normal laces, maybe a little bit long. Okay, so that's the shoe overall. It's like a Cadillac or a sofa or like, you know, an easy boy recliner. It's just so plush big though big like really big i mean i have I've hokas i run in lots of hokas but looking down at my feet it looks like i'm wearing a snowshoe or something it looks like a like an ugg boot compared to uh i got an adidas shoe here like it just dwarfs just dwarfs the size of this adidas shoe when you look down on it uh so you know it doesn't inspire confidence doesn't make you feel fast uh and sometimes just kind of like surprises me to like look down at my feet and see how large they look. My biggest takeaway so far is a question really. It's like, is the Arahi going to be the new Clifton? This shoe reminds me so much uh, of the Clifton 5, the first Clifton I ever ran in. Also in terms of looks, like it looks big and stuff, the colors. Not a big fan of the colors. We got this sort of blue gray, which is not a problem. That's pretty, but this big fat piece of orange. Uh, not really into it. Uh, I do like that they differentiate that J frame, that different foam from the other foam. You know, we got two foams, so it's nice to be able to just clearly see it. But this sort of like gray, blue, and orange, uh, Hoka is always going bright and bold with the colors, but in my opinion, it's just kind of garish or like childish. You wear Hokas, and then you wear some other, you know, running clothes you own, and you look like a weird rainbow. Foam, definitely not fast feeling, not firm, and it's also not like a super shoe. Uh, it's not like Saucony Endorphin Speed with big thick cushion under but that's nice and responsive. Definitely no like just pop, there's no zip, no zing. It's an easy day shoe. Uh, which I guess segue to how am I going to use this shoe? Easy day, slow day, long day. I did one run on the treadmill in this shoe with kind of incline workout like 17-18 minutes at 9%. Fine, it worked, but not not great, not nice. Like I'm not gonna do that again. I'm not gonna run hills in this shoe or, or take this out for speed work. I'm gonna use it, yeah, just easy day, baby my legs or go long. So, but hey, that's Hoka. That's what Hoka is designed to do. Okay, Arahi 6, first impressions done. Thanks for watching.
Thank you.